time. It always surprises me that people can make it this far with this little time. And uh, it's very, very impressive to do something like that. So let's see how he fares against one of the veterans of wow. his country. It's actually going to be Pikachu coming out from Homika. And you know what, man? I think this actually makes a lot of sense because at first glance, you might think Rosalina is really good at countering projectile characters, but she is also paper thin. The Belmonts hit like a truck and uh, getting ledge trapped is really hard for her as well. Pikachu doesn't have to deal with a lot of that stuff. He's still light, but he's got a rushdown game. He's got a projectile game of his own. Doesn't have to worry about babysitting Luma. And of course, just low profiling the Belmonts is so annoying for them. Yeah, 100%. And Pikachu excels, in, again, against most characters in this game, but especially against characters with, with these linear recoveries and, you know, poor disadvantage states. So we'll see how it works out here. So far, out the gate here, uh, Nox looking uh, very, very strong against uh, Homika. You see the down throw to neutral air rising, so he can't get any drag downs at this percent. Oh, looking for that forward smash at the ledge, catching the default option for a lot of players, which is neutral get up, but it doesn't look like Nox has any intention of giving that to him. And all of a sudden, we're back to a pretty evenish race. Yeah, um, you know, Nox has done a really good job avoiding the, the scary disadvantage, uh, you know, strings from Pikachu. And also, at this percent, is where you're, you know, you gotta be a little bit worrisome, you know, when you're trying to maybe, when you're trying to recover against Pikachu. You're forced to use a, uh, but that's not gonna be a factor, at least right now, uh, a wall of pain with the back air, uh, coming out from Nox out the gate and has the early lead here. Yeah, I think Pikachu excels when he's up in Richter's face in this matchup. But, of course, at that mid-range, this character is so dominant. Some of the longest normals ever printed in Smash, pretty much. And absolutely no fear in using them from Nox. Okay, he's going to be off stage. Oh, the trait! Wow, remember that time Nox Umbra down air to Pikachu to recover? <laughs> oh, man, that's that's the shot of espresso in my coffee that I needed today. Thank you so much for that. But Got yeah, you, bro. that's 50 cents at Starbucks, but it's free for me. I <laughs> love it. Yeah, but this is where you start to get, you know, a little bit scared if you're uh, if you're homie gun. You know, the Belmonts, despite their their poor, uh, you know, vertical recovery is the up smash will convert right there. You know, they are, uh, I think, like top 10 in regards to uh, character weight. So they can definitely hang around a bit if you're not uh, on point or killing them early, uh, you know, with edge guards and stuff. So. But Omega able to, you know, even the ship stockwise, and just like that, you know, Pikachu is able to get right back in the thick of things. Yeah, another pretty even start to this second stock here, but it looks like they just want to play as far away from each other as possible. It's a little bit tougher to deal with those projectiles online, both from the Belmonts and from Pikachu. And Homika, you know, in terms of amount of projectiles he can get out over time, I think he's the one leading this race, right? He can throw Thunder Jolt so rapidly in comparison to the crosses and axes and holy waters from the Belmonts that it just takes a little bit more time to cast. Yeah, especially, you know, the telegraphed angle of those moves and Pikachu moves, you know, so well in, in the uh, in the air. Uh, and like I brought up before, it's going to be a lot of whip game coming out. You're, you're seeing uh, Nox create a lot of his space with angle down forward air and, uh, and back air and such. Catches him with the holy water, though, and expels the demon Pikachu uh, with the uh, forward air. So great conversion there from Nox. All right, edge guard potential here. Gonna go for down till excellent chase on the tether, though. I feel like so many players are a little bit scared when it comes to edge guarding against tethers. Not Homika and not Pikachu players, hopefully, because they have some of the strongest edge guards in the game. Yeah, that was excellent stuff there from Homie Cup. Uh, it, you know, that first stock definitely lingered around for much longer than I'm sure they would have liked. Uh, so, you know, you like to see that sort of, uh, you know, uh, adaptation to clean up your plate there. As uh, Nox is now in not the greatest position, but able to fight up <laughs> just taking these Thunder Jolt hits. Does not care. Back to center stage. Yeah, he took like 30 or 40 just off of Raw Thunder Jolts for the opening of that stock here. Okay, high recovery from Homika, but it's not going to get punished. Uh-oh. Dives off with the down tilt the wrong way. And now we've got to see a really patient game plan from Nox if he wants to bring this one back. Very hard to rush characters down at the Belmonts. And when you're trailing by about 60 here, and this Pikachu shows no interest in approaching whatsoever, I'm very curious as to how he's going to figure it out. Yeah, it's been a steady diet of just forwarders and, and thunder jolts so far uh, from Homika. They want no part in engaging, you know, up close with this character. And even with the parry, not going to have enough uh, time to get the, the uppercut out as Homika again, uh, right back on the offensive here. But uh, Town and City Platform Max, ultimate X Factor. Wow, chunked for like 30 damage off the Holy Water into the forward smash. 
and we're seeing a potential comeback here, but it's got to happen fast. Pikachu, not the strongest stray hits in the game, but far from the weakest as well. We've got dash attack, smash attacks to worry about. And of course, uh, random forward air near the corner of the stage could definitely take the stock. But of course, playing with... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, you see Nox uh, showing her hand and kind of letting her rip with the forward smashes a bit uh, to maybe catch some rolls from Homika, but... Does that matter? Homika did a, a, a good job avoiding those normals up close and finishing up with the up smash. Yep, of course, one of the good closers for Pikachu. Dash attack and up smash, I'd say, are the most reliable ones you have. And then forward air, when you're near the corners of the stage, can be really devastating as well. But Homika played that so surgically. I mean, we saw the first stock take quite a while for these guys. And then on the last stock, Homika just went right back to that game plan. He was just chucking the jolts man and even if you have three projectiles sometimes it can be very difficult to deal with pikachu's one one of the low-key strongest zoning games in super smash bros ultimate yeah 100 percent um and listen uh credit to nox for for playing a matchup that on paper is very very difficult and you know keeping it close at the very least pikachu uh from all the belmont mains who i've spoken to have uh have waxed poetically about how awful this matchup is and you know they're they're holding their own for sure. So, you know I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, see them get a, a game on the board here, but we'll see. Yeah, pretty much your one X factor in this matchup as the Belmonts is the fact that you can murder Pikachu. It's very low percents. I was gonna say toward the end of that, he's playing with fire, taking his time against Belmonts at uh, sixty eight percent on a very light character like Pikachu. That could just be another holy water to forward smash, which is what got him there in the first place. But fortunately for Homika, he did not find himself on the receiving end of that. I think we're going to see him stick with the Pikachu. Probably no reason to go to Rosa after a performance like that. Yeah, it's definitely always, you know, weird waters when, uh, when to play your secondary. But this is definitely a, a matchup on paper where you're like, yeah, let me just uh, let, let me just stick with this real quick. And Max, uh, shield your eyes. Uh, we're, we're, we're totally not on Lilac Cruise right now. You know, I think this is just such a brave pick on the part of Nox, to be honest. I mean, you're playing against Pikachu, who kind of loves this stage, right? It's got the platforms for his combo game. It's not too big, so he can rush you down when he needs to, but it's also not too small, and if he wants to throw some projectiles, that's possible, and it certainly does not help Richter's projectile game either. Oh, beautiful combo, though. Neutral air to angled up forward air. Yeah, Ooh, the early... What? Ooh. Oh, Smash clanks that? Oh, I yeah. want a refund for this game, bro. <laughs> Uh, my god. Is there anything Pikachu can't do? Show me <laughs> one mouse who can head tank an axe. Maybe Mickey? I don't know. I, I'd have to ask him, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, but he left the rip with the forward air, does Nox, and uh, just like that, again, early percent for the Belmonts, not going to always look great, but having that X factor of just gnarly kill power at all percents. Uh, excellent uh, first stock right there. Yeah, forward smash standing on the platform to call out jump from the ledge. Gotta appreciate these kinds of reads and setups from Nox, who's now building quite a lead for himself. 54% on Pikachu already, and I mean, that's prime for the killing. Yeah, if Nox can start working in some grabs into their game now, as we saw that, uh, that uh, shield right there, uh, that's gonna be huge for the moving forward. Oh my lord! You don't belong in this world, monster. Goodness gracious. Uh, Kuba, I thought this was going to be a self-counter pick to some degree on the part of Nox Umbra here, but he is gaming out of his mind on Lilac Cruise. Only 110% to show for himself. Homicon needs to start turning it up. Yeah, my favorite Star Fox character has always been Richter Belmont, so... Yeah, I guess a little home field advantage for him here. <laughs> We're going to see it. The respawn chucking some projectiles right off the bat, but Homika potentially very strong opening. Yes, down tilt into the down throw, Nair drag down, re grab, and he keeps the loops coming. If he can wipe this stock off the board quickly, we're looking at a relatively even fight. Yeah, this is always the part Ooh. about Pikachu that you fear, and oh, just having enough reach on the tether to make it back. I mean, perhaps the zero gravity effect of space uh, making it <laughs> so, but. Uh, no, just like that, Omega getting right back in the thick of things as the uppercut will at least buy uh, Nox a reset of neutral. Oh man, definitely kind of sucks that the cross gets bounced back by Thunderjolt too. That really puts a huge hole in Rich's otherwise really tough zoning game. There's a down throw here. Uh, yep. Oh my, oh jeez. These recoveries have been absolutely insane from Nox. Uh, Love Smash will even things up, so the three stock lead 
uh, has been uh, dissipated, but uh, will Homika be able to mount the ultimate comeback? Let's find out. Yeah, it could be the matter of just one good grab confirmed for him to even things up here. Leading out though, 70 and counting, 80 and counting. Ooh, my gosh, almost hitting with the ax right there, or at least, you know, providing some shield pressure. Ooh, great catch right there. I gotta say, the, the I thought the angle down ledges would be more of a of a nuisance here uh, for Nox, uh, you know, like we mentioned before, but their item conversion on the, the ledge has been great. Uh, getting the ref, uh, the DI in on the dive kick right there, but unable to get the follow up. That could have been a uh, game for, uh, for Nox right there. And you just see these projectiles getting ignored or outright countered by Pikachu's projectile. I mean, it's so tough just dealing with this matchup in general, but also knowing that Thunderjolt sends Cross right back at you, man. Ah, and of course, uh, Holy Water being transcendent completely ignores them. And how can he close this one out? Pikachu near the end of his life. Oh, the early up, and he makes it. Insane wow. recoveries, knocks up, taking game two, evening up the set, and Koopa, this character does not excel at recovering by any means. I'd say he has probably like a bottom 10 recovery, right? But you see mm -hmm. that when you main a character who has particular weaknesses, the players of that character make sure to craft that into one of their strengths and just, oh, you want to take this edge guard for granted here? I'm Richter Belmont, bro. Come get me. Oh, no, actually, I know exactly the maximum distance of my tether, exactly how far I can drift from my up B and shaking the pressure off with that final uppercut right there just to make sure he didn't get edge guarded and lose the game out of uh, out of nowhere, pretty much. You know, after a crazy comeback from Homika, man, the clutch factor from Knox there was insane. As we're getting a, a music counter pick in the arena, I uh, yeah, love that. Is there, is there a particular arena song you like to play in the, in your uh, in your arenas whenever you play online? Whenever I play online. Oh, that's that's right. I forgot you live with people. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of you to assume I do that. Yeah, I no. let me. I owe you a handshake in, in two weeks after I get the second shot. I'll yeah, put no, on my I, calendar. I'm so lucky that uh, I, I do have Smash players as my roommates. But of course, you can't just count yourself out of the game because there's a global pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Online, no, sure. it's the only vehicle right now. And of course, we've gotten some great matches out of it through the Smash World Tour, and they just keep on coming. No, 100%. Uh, it's been an absolute banger of a start so far. Again, I didn't think I'd see a 3-0 of, of Gluttony and uh, Richter Belmont this early in the morning. Usually, usually these are my, those are both my sleep paralysis demons, actually. I think <laughs> so. Here we go, going to FD here. This could be a, uh, a rough game uh, for Nox, but on the same side, it could be a rough game for, uh, for Homika. Music choice, though, definitely taking me out of it, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I, this one's a little zany. Not <laughs> sure what, what Homika's really going for here. Well, I think I, yeah, I, I, I think that's just like the FD thing where like it just picks a random song from the game after I forget what patch they did that in. I think that was the uh, the Sephiroth patch. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. Sorry, I thought that uh, the whole music selection was for the game and not for the arena. And now I get it. Now I get what's yeah. going on. You can see my lack of experience with online coming. <laughs> Oh, and he misses Ooh. the tech. So difficult to tech against that move. It's got so many hits. You know, one of those moves kind of like Game of Watch's back air, Mario's up B, where you just got to really be on the ball and completely uh, properly estimate when you actually have to pop that trigger button. Yep, and now we're seeing uh, the <laughs> patented Pikachu stuff coming out for Homika here. Uh, uh, lapping uh, Nox already in percent, and this is where the the, the, you know, the matchup can get really, really frustrating for the Belmonts when you were forced to, you know, approach uh, you know, a character such as Pikachu that has all the tools to keep you out and do a lot of damage as we've seen so far in these first two games. Nox trying to fight back here. Wow, picking up a super early kill with that back air. All right, that is one of the strengths of this character. They can kill super early. Oh, and recovery, not one of them, but Nox has still made it back almost every single time. We have yet to see most of these stocks ending in edge guards, and I think that's really what Pikachu has to do in order to secure a victory. Yeah, well, Nox has been really, really good at, like we mentioned, you know, knowing the exact length of those of those uh, tethers, and uh, Homika's just been a step slow on getting there, but it does not matter uh, when you're able to convert the kills in neutral and, you know, and then some, as uh, Homika having a huge lead right now on uh, the Vampire Killer. 
We saw Homie Cow almost brought this back against similar odds on Lilac Cruz in game two, though. Nox potentially with a chance to do that for himself. Oh, and you see up tilt getting underneath Richter's forward tilt right there. That is tragic, bro. Yeah, the hitbox on that move is, like, very, very specific. Like, it only really hits you, like, directly above you. It has no scooping uh, hitbox on it at all. Right, and Pikachu, of course, loves to crouch during the startup and end lag of a lot of his moves. Seeing the whip crack right through. Oh, into the forward smash, but this time, Homika is going to survive. Cranks out another axe. Oh, and just not the recovery angle he needed to get back. All of a sudden, what was a two-stock lead has turned into just 50%. Yeah, do we see a comeback on the other end uh, for, for Nox Umbra right now? Uh, we shall see. 70% definitely doable right now, but uh, ooh, uh, Homika chasing. And uh, yeah, that's going to be all they wrote right there as uh, <laughs> Pikachu stands there menacingly as Richter falls to their death. And yeah, that listen, that's uh, on paper what you have to do against the Belmonts, you know, especially at those like awkward percents where you you have to use a resource uh to position yourself to get back to the ledge if you can you know sniff that out whether it be jump or whatever it may be uh it's pretty easy sailing to get the edge guard uh at that point so yeah i think the only hope for nox there was to do a directional air dodge to get a little bit closer to the stage and then double jump up b but of course all the time that air dodge takes to perform that's easy pickings for Pikachu, who could just go out there, pop him with another forward air, and close the door. So Homika leading 2-1 here, looking for a spot in that next round of winner's bracket against Vidod, hoping to maybe avenge his French brethren in Gluto. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if, uh, you know, if Nox has a, a game five in the works here. Uh, but Homika looking really, really good that last game. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I would love to see a game five between these two. I, I'm just, I'm, I, I love the Belmonts. The Belmonts are real cool. They are, and they're very underplayed as well. I mean, of course, being toward the lower end of the tier list, that is to be expected. But I think this character has a little bit of untapped potential as well. And being able to even put a game up on the board and even make that game kind of close, that's a pretty good statement for, you know, an allegedly bad character's allegedly worst matchup. Yeah, no, for sure. As we're gonna go to Pokemon Stadium here, so home field advantage here for uh, for uh, for Homika here. But this is a great uh, Belmont stage, uh, in my opinion. Uh, having a lot of room to work with, uh, you know, uh, dual platforms to keep you, you know, uh, you know, potentially from getting combo from above from Pikachu. And you're seeing uh, what range they have to play with, you know, with the holy water and stuff off the platforms. So definitely have to be cautious with that if you're Homika. Pretty even scrap to kick it off. Looks like Nox is going to start pulling ahead. He's got a jumpless Pikachu offstage, but of course his character's recovery is so good. Doesn't matter. How are you going to get off the ledge against some holy water, against a giant whip? And the simple answer is that you're not. Yeah, uh, great start right there for Nox. Again, any lead you can grab yourself against Pikachu, force them to approach a little bit more, uh, is much uh, appreciated in these matchups. And... You know, going right back to work on the ledge where the Belmonts uh, exceed for sure. Get that rising neutral air, clipping him out of his shield. But you're going to need a lot more than that. Oh, no, another SD from Homika. I think we are going to see game five, Koopa. This is getting kind of off the rails really quick. Only, uh, what, a minute and a half, two minutes into the game? Yeah, that's definitely not what you want to see. And, you know, again, we, we've seen so far that Three, three, one leads, two ones leads don't really mean much in this set. Um, both players have shown their uh, their clutch factor, being able to you know close these deficits. But I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, at this point, it's like you know, uh, do you start thinking about the next game? I don't think so. You know, it's still doable, but you know, we'll see what Homika has left in the tank right now. Yeah, that said, whatever your matchup was against Richter when you have even stocks is one thing, but it goes. Uh, Quite a few points down for you when he's up a stock and certainly up two. It's very hard to approach this character. And right now, Homikon knows he's got to be the one to initiate the action here. Yeah, good air dodge down to the platform right there from Nox. As Homika again having a rough time getting the stock off. You know, this is a. Uh, ooh, <laughs> okay, going for the uh, the rebound right there with the axe. And yeah, it is it is everything coming up Richter uh, right now for sure. Throwing the strong cross, lets it return for some pressure. But man, honestly, if I'm Homika, now I'm thinking about the next game. Already at the clutch 112%. Oh, and the pivot cancel forward tilt just gets a little extra slide.
closes that with the three stock. A little help from Homicom himself there. Unfortunately, just couldn't quite make it back. That one recovery yet, I want to say, what, 20, 10% very early on into the game and suddenly we've found ourselves in a game five situation in a matchup that most people would consider not quite unwinnable but certainly difficult yeah no 100 uh a three piece coming out from uh from Knox right there and you know like we said a, a little bit self-assisted there from homica with the sd but <laughs> anytime you get three stock max in, no matter what the the setting is uh it still does not feel good yeah absolutely not and I, especially in a matchup like that, where it's like not quite a gimme, but you you don't want to be losing Belmonts versus Pikachu as the Pikachu. All right, we see Knox exit the stage for a second. We've seen a variety of stages so far uh, in this set. Both players not afraid to uh, to counter pick when necessary. I think we've seen a different stage every game of the set so far. So uh, curious, curious where we're gonna go here. Yeah, I believe you're right. And we could see the Rosalina come out, but I would say there's probably not much of a reason to do that if you're Homika. Like, the Pikachu was doing great, minus the SD. So as long as you're able to keep pace with him, stick to the game plan that got you here, you could do very well to just stay on the character that you fought the rest of the set with. Yeah, like, sometimes you just... Listen, it's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes you're just going to run into a blender. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Belmont mains I've spoken to have... have Again, talked about how PS2 is probably their best stage or one of their best stages. So, you know, I'd say a, a, a counter pick that, you know, fortunately worked out for, for Knox right there. But we'll see, man. I'm super duper excited uh, for this game five. And again, tale of, of two sets so far. We saw a 30 and a a fist bump virtually, uh, you know, in, in the first set. And we get a game five uh, grind them out set. Uh Europe has come to play, man. I'm, it, it's been uh, a real treat to watch so far. Yeah, absolutely. And we have so much more talent still waiting in the bracket here. Just looking at this this winner's bunch of sets here. Definitely some very strong names in the mix. And then on the loser side of things, again, Gluto and Mr. R. Glutiny actually 3 0 Super Semi down in the loser side of things. So that's one of the best Dutch players already out of contention, unfortunately. I mean... You just hate to see him have to run into Gluto so early. Yeah, it's it's truly unfortunate stuff. But here we go. Game five, Nox Umbra versus Homika. Winner moves on and qualifies for the offline portion. We are right back where we started initially, Max, in town and city. All right. It's going to be Richter and Pikachu. Same way we started is going to be the way that we finished. No character counterpicks from any players who have been featured so far. So... I don't know. We'll see if this one pays off for Nox sticking with his Richter. Of course, I uh, saw no secondary on that player card. And that's just one of the risks you have to accept when you decide to be a Belmont solo main is that you can run into Pikachu or some other character who just has his way with you completely. Hey, listen, not uh, power to you, man. You were you were braver than most. And uh oh, that rogue down tilt. Uh, potentially setting up for disaster right there for uh, for Knox, but able to just drift back to safety. And um, uh, Pikachu's backer is just so good, man. I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, definitely one of the best moves in the game and kind of difficult to punish for the rest of the cast, being that he shrinks into a pancake on the floor. All right, Knox, though, potentially with a chance. Oh, if he managed to trap that drift back to the stage, he could have seen a much different match. Winning advantage for this character has some serious implications because of how much damage he does, how early he can kill you. But Homika just doesn't want to get anywhere near this man. Yeah, no, no Yeah, listen, being very aware of the stakes right there, uh, sneaking under the forward tilt from the Belmonts and able to capitalize huge with the ups with the forward smash. So now Omika in prime position uh, to put the brakes on things right now. But getting those low percent Pikachu combos again on the uh, uh, on uh, Richter. So so far everything coming up with Pikachu right now. Just stick into the game plan. Stay on one side of the stage. Throw those thunder jolts. The second you see him get a little bit impatient, maybe rush in, maybe reset to the other side. Oh, potentially a huge pickup. Doesn't get the edge guard, but I think that was a free recovery for Knox regardless. Yeah, again, just having a rough time getting the stock off. Not even in triple digits uh, yet for uh, for Homika. They've really made it apparent that they want no part in engaging up close with this character. 
dash attack just for the pop-up and a beautiful Ooh. landing punish. Homika working on a three-stock of his own right now. This is nuts. Uh, we, we've seen so much back and forth action from these guys in dominant fashion. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And you see uh, Homika get a grab there, but again, having a uh, a rough uh, you know journey in front of them right now as Homika uh, be very reserved with the Thunder Jolts, but the angle down back air, one of the coolest looking moves in the game uh, coming through right there as ooh, see Homika going for the home run hit with the uh, trying to edge guard right there. Oh, I like that method of using the Holy Water there. It didn't do all that much for him, but still looked cool. Oh, and the stare down, just gonna go for the grab. Okay. This is looking like the end of the road for Knox Umbra's winner's bracket life, but don't want to count him out just yet. Oh. oh. Jumpless. Oh! Wow. What an insane recovery right there. He, by all measures, should have been dead, probably. But Homika just a little off the mark with his aerial. And we're gonna see Richter Belmont live to see another. <laughs> what 20 seconds on the yeah screen? <laughs> yeah in, insert uh insert the edit of the belmont whip being the sticky hand thing you buy at the dollar store uh yeah but again uh the work definitely cut out for for Knox right now uh pikachu is such a menace at the ledge uh homika uh, again <laughs> can be pretty liberal with uh you know what they can throw out right now anything will kill the dash attack will be the kill option of choice and in a game five thriller, it is Homika uh, bringing out the secondary against Knox Umbra. We'll be moving on uh, in winner's bracket and qualifying for the offline portion of uh, of the Smash World Tour for Europe. So congratulations to them. Yeah, that's certainly something you want to feel proud of yourself for. Congratulations, Homika. You will be taking on Vidad in, I would guess, an hour or two. I'm not sure exactly when the winner's quarters matches will be played, but course in the future so guys stay locked there are so many more good matches coming up for you and now we have another set uh getting ready to go and it looks like two more from